I'm sorry, what? Did Michelle Bachman just say what I think she said? Let me hear that again. I stand on the side of the peace. Thank you. The American people. Michelle Bachman stands on the side of peace. So essentially, let's start a war with Iran. P.S. I love peace. There are a lot of things that this makes me think of. But let me just make a light comparison with two cartoon characters, some of my favorites, Charlie Brown's little sister Sally and Linus. Those kids at the playground think they're so tough. Well, I'm not out to start any trouble, but I'm also not afraid of them. I'm taking the advice of Theodore Roosevelt. Speak softly and carry a beagle. In my administration, children will be children, and adults will be adults. I may even do away with stupid elections like this. Thank you. After the holidays are over, Everything has quieted. I'm gonna slug you. So on one hand, you have the crazy irrational girl flying off the handle once again. And then there's the guy everyone discounts, who actually is making perfect sense. A little far-fetched, but, you know, I think it works. Um, but I want to get back to this comment made by Michelle Bachman. One more time, please. I stand on the side of the, Thank people, you. the American people. There are so many things to say about this. First of all, Bachman cites a report by the International Atomic Energy Agency that basically says Iran might possibly have been working on developing nuclear weapons before 2003 and may possibly be doing so now. It does not cite any direct evidence of this because, well, there isn't any. So Michelle Bachman is drawing a conclusion based on a hypothesis that's based on a premonition and fear-mongering and perhaps the desires of the defense community that Iran is an urgent direct threat to the U.S. not to be ignored. Ron Paul says, let's just tell it like it is and be honest about the fact that it's the warmongering that beefs up the threat. And say what you will about Iran, but if you want to believe they have nuclear weapons capabilities despite very little, little evidence, fine. But don't say you're on the side and you favor peace in the same breath as you say a war with Iran might be imminent. Let's do a better job here at calling it like it is, people not how the mainstream media tells us to.